Hello everyone, I'm Uth here from the Target Common YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to learn to create JSON payload using Java map. So in all previous examples, I have used hard-coded JSON payloads, right? It might be JSON, simple JSON payload, simple JSON object payload. It was like nested JSON object payload, JSON arrays, whatever we had, everything were hard-coded or uh, that is called like simple string okay so that that approach is not all be recommended until unless the payload is very big or it's too small or too big so we'll see like in which condition we can go for hard-coded one and how should we use it but in maximum cases we need to create the payload dynamically okay because we cannot run the run any api with the same data always okay because generally api is a data driven kind of things so based on data based on whatever data we are passing the api might behave differently so we must have some mechanism so that we can create some dynamic payloads okay or at least a mechanism where we can fit the values or we can put the values for the payload okay so in that in that stage we are going to learn uh, to create a very simple json object body using java map okay so let me go to chrome and uh, what i'll do suppose let me get to json online editor.org and i will try to create a very simple json object here Okay, I will remove this part. I don't want any array. Okay. And let me put something like uh, uh, married false then salary and it will be like 123.45. Okay so if you see this particular json object payload this is simple very simple json object payload where key and value right where the like we don't even don't have any nested one okay so because we are studying from basics so let's focus on how to get a simple json object okay so here we can see in this particular json object we have different types of different data types like uh, we have integer okay where which is the uh, um, represented by id then we have a string we have boolean we have uh, double right so means i wanted i wanted to put all the data types here so that i can show you how can you create such kind of payload okay 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 or what i can do uh, let's go everything as a string first okay let's go for basic then we can go for different data types and how to minim uh, how to add these type of things okay so suppose this is payload uh, this is a payload and this payload i want to create using a java map okay why i'm saying you to create it using a java map because the map concept right that also based on key and value pair right and if you see this particular json object this is also a key value pair kind of things okay here id is the key first name is the key last name is the key it's uh, similar married and salary are also key right and we have values right one Giovanni, scalaron false uh, or some values are uh, values right so also whatever json object we can see here that's the same we can create using java map okay now let's see and uh, try to create this type of map okay so what i'll do i'll go to the project where i am creating all the examples and let me create a new pa new package here package will be mm -hmm. payloads okay so what i'll do i'll go to new create simple json object using map okay click on finish okay so let me add a min method here okay so first thing you need to create a map okay map uh, reference 
okay so let me create a map here so key will be a string okay and value will be also a string only right because if you see here all the values i have put as a string right so what will be the generic of this map like the keys will be well uh, the key will be string always the value will also be string only and i put something like json object payload okay then new s map okay here whatever implemented class you want to use you can use it here that depend that will impact your order and also we can see some example on that as well but we first we need to create an instance of map okay so since map is an interface we cannot create an object of it so we need to use any implemented class of it okay so let me import has map and this map okay now the now like we know that we have put method right using put in map we can and uh, we can put some key and value pair right same thing we need to follow here like json object payload dot put right put so it is it is asking for the key value pair so we know that this id is the key and value is one okay so let me copy paste the same line for uh, four times right to add uh, other keys and value pairs so let me copy first name let me copy all the keys first So let me give some simple name. Why to give some uh, different name like my name only. Married, I'm not married. Okay, and cell is less one two three point four five. Okay, so this map we have created. Okay, in this map we have five keys and five values. Okay, now you can ask like, okay, I need to create a JSON object. Okay, which which should look like uh, this but we've created the map right so how it is like uh, serving the purpose okay so there's no need to worry actually okay this essay will do that for you okay so what i'll do i will write a very simple dummy recessive code just to show you the payload okay that this will not be valid api just to show you payload i am writing some code okay what i'll do this assured dot sorry given log dot all dot body right if you see this body is overloaded method and we have one uh, overloaded method which takes an object kind of thing right so in this what i will pass in this i will put json object payload okay and simple get okay that's all i'm not doing anything okay since we have not set any base url base pass so we know that it will go and hit the local host url right that i have explained in some previous videos already you can see that one okay so here what i have done i have simply created one map where i put the keys and value pairs whatever i want in a json payload and instead of passing earlier we had passed this kind of things hard coded right as a string now what a map i have created that i am passing it here okay let's see what body it prints let's so let me run it run as java application okay so it's showing some error So maybe run as run configuration. There seems to be some problem, but
so let me run it now and hopefully this time it should work okay perfect so you can can you see here the body right we are passing a map but this are the error because there's no such uh, local host uh, no api is running on local host. that's why it is giving some con con connection diffused error so that is fine we just need to bother about this body right what we have passed we have passed a map right we have passed a map object but here what in the body what is showing it is json object is it json payload right json object payload so that is the beauty of research suit okay so this should will automatically pass that one so they have some rules like uh, they will first check for the json then uh, there's some different like jackson or json and then they will look for some other libraries as well so that we'll cover later but as of now what what we need to understand that simply when we create a map and we're passing that map object okay map object as a payload right in the body method of tracer suit right when we are creating the request specification and we pass the map to the body or to the body method so automatically this suit will pass that into a json payload okay that we can see here right so hopefully you are clear like there's no need to do like then there's no need to convert this map to json explicitly there is no need to do this is will do that for you automatically okay i think this will be good for you uh, okay so now in beginning what i did i changed the type of value to string okay so but uh, why string that is not uh, possible like all the data types will be like all the value will be string only like so like id should be number right integer then the merit should be a boolean right and like sally is a double so we can have different data types correct so in what we should do in this case so i think you should you should have already caught this one like when we're creating a map okay when we're creating a map so we're setting the generic size string right value is string correct now if i want to create a map which where it can hold any type of value right then what i need to do we need to change the generic generic type here and for the value instead of using this thing we need to use object okay object class right because object is a super class of all the classes in java okay so if you change this generic to object we can store any type of value okay so let me go and let me clone this particular class okay and i will name it as not to uh, data data types data types okay so instead of a string just and to use object okay so id should be one uh, sorry id should be integer so i am putting integer here and it is accepting because the value type is object okay similarly merit should be a boolean and this uh, sally should be double right perfect so now if i run the program you will see it will show you the proper json object payload whatever we are expecting Okay, so it's running it's running yeah the output is here and you can see the payload like this okay payload like this so let me format it so we can see this is the same payload whatever we are expecting so now you can see that we have added id first then first name last name we followed one pattern while adding but the key the the whatever result we are getting that in different order right that is because we are using hash map here right that is again java concept we are using hash map if i want that key should be in orders what we can use 
this linked hash map okay so now if i run this program so what will happen we'll get a get the json object in the order whatever we have we had added so this is the body here let me copy it okay and let me paste it here okay let me format it can you see in whatever order we had added the key in the same order we are getting that depends upon what which implemented class you are using okay so in interview i have seen this question like uh, because has map has map is a trend okay and uh, when when we ask for them uh, like if if we can use the linked hash map so they were not able to think of that okay so that depends upon which uh, which uh, implemented the class you are using okay but if you are doing the debugging also the by default in that they take it take it as linked hash map so i will suggest you use linked hash map because this will help you to also find the values okay if you have a large payload so there you can go and find the values by looking at the names and all okay but that is like uh, that will not impact anything in your api and api or other things okay because this is a key value pair so whatever if you're giving the id at the last that that will not impact your api performance okay or api result okay so in this video this is enough and in the next video we are going to learn how to create nested json objects okay means one json object inside json object okay that using map okay if you have any doubt you can comment and ask me your queries via mail or uh, drop you can drop me a message okay and sorry for my voice because i have not reached recovered so the voice is not so well but i will try uh, try making uh, more videos on this episode thank you everyone